Good evening, everybody. This is Julian Hyde Smith outside of the Dorchester Hotel in London, bringing you the ambience that you can hear of dedicated fans awaiting their music idols for tonight, the 2009 Granny Awards. Now I'm standing beside a long red carpet down to the curb where limousines one by one pull up and eject their special guests. Needless to say, the police are here in force, holding back the crowds. They have police dogs with them. I can see an ambulance across the road waiting for those who may faint. It's a very chilly night here, and no doubt there will be some casualties. Needless to say, some of these casualties will be superficial. These youngsters have been queuing all night and most of yesterday morning to await their idols in the flesh and the excitement will be too much for some to bear. Ah yes, there is another white limousine just pulling up and yes I can see it's Mad Donna. Oh, there's, there's a fire engine, actually just a red fire engine just pulled up with flashing lights and it stops. Well, this is novel. Rocky Minestrone and the Mars Bar rappers are just climbing out. Uh, yes, he seems to be experiencing some difficulty in his uh, snowshoes in climbing out of the fire engine. Uh, ho however, his uh, compatriots, the Mars Bar rappers, the band members, are now carrying him up the red carpet to the entrance to the Dorchester. Well, this is a fireman's lift that I've never seen executed before. Oops, uh, he's lost one of his snowshoes and, oh yes, one of the fans has run away with it. My goodness. Well, it's certainly turning out to be an evening of the unexpected. And whilst on that subject, let's talk to a couple of fans who, in their expectations, will take the nomination and the big prize. Oh, excuse me, um, could you tell me who do you think is going to walk away with this grand music uh, phenomenon tonight? Uh, no comprende, a lamento de allegretto, e sempre uh, allegro adante. Ah, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, young lady, uh, who do you think will walk away with this master prize tonight? Oh, oh thank you. I, I say, I say, excuse me, could you uh, give me your thoughts on who's going to win this marvellous prize tonight? Augustine Algotra, just non stop of you, Otto was to stand up. Oh dear, it doesn't seem as though I can find anybody who speaks English. Oh, never mind. Now we'll take a walk up the red carpet to the entrance hall and join the cocktail party and see who we can mix and mingle with there. Well, here we are in this beautiful reception hall, which I must say is a sight to please any eye. The painted ceilings, the great curtains. Oh, I'm sorry. It's shoulder to shoulder here. Let's see if I can squeeze through here. Yep. And and you can just see over the tops of people's heads and oh, there appears to be ladies with white hats on yeah one or two three four of them pushing what looks to be like tea trolleys hello there ducky you looking for a cup of tea there oh hello uh, no actually i was after a glass of champagne oh i am sorry ducky but i can do you a nice cup of tea do you mean to say these ladies with the white hats pushing the tea trolleys are i say aren't you daphne from the mars bar rappers that's right ducky but you can call me daff i know i got some lovely cornish pasties. well i never I have heard of businesses reverting back to employing tea ladies instead of these impersonal canteens. Well, we're certainly rushed off our feet here. I got a little following now and I got a new tea trolley, deluxe model. Beauty, ain't you? Ah, yes, thank you, Daphne. Ah, I just spied Randy Warhol. 
who's the director for this year's Granny Awards. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you pleased with the proceedings so far? Oh, yes, boy. Oh, it's a fa -fa 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 fantastic crowd. We got ya to ta 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 tonight. But it must have taken an awful lot of planning and uh, communication. Oh, it certainly did. Mind you, there's always one idiot in every v -v 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 village. Ah, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Warhol. Uh, let's see if uh, I can... F oh, yes, there he is, Mr. Rocky Minestrani. He's over there in the corner, apparently by himself. Let's see if we can squeeze past it. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. If we, we can uh, have a quick word with him. What's your game, then? Are you that interviewer that asked me all those stupid bleeding questions? Ah, oh, Mr. Minestrone, pleased to meet you again. Oh my, oh my god, what is that awful smell? Oh dear. Stepped in some bleeding dog shit, didn't I? Got it all over me snowshoe. Hey, would you be having a problem there, Rocky? You've been on the odd stuff again, Bernie. Hey, I may have had one or two, but I'm not as drunk as some playful prank. What's that? Ah, he was saying, I not a drink as some think of pay. Can you know you resist the temptation for five minutes? Now, gentlemen, gentlemen, do you feel confident you'll take away the top prize tonight? Oh, Julian, old chap. So glad you could catch up with the band again. Ah, oh, Lord Bryron. Such a pleasure to meet you again. I, may I introduce you to Gloria, my wife? I say, I say, Gloria, Gloria, darling, where are you going? Hey, no doubt, it's the stink around here. So it clashes with her perfume. Hey, it's enough to set your head spinning. Her perfume, I mean. But can't you do something about your uh, snowshoe, Mr. Minestrone? Bleeding shoe won't come off, will it? He's stuck. Now, is there anyone here one in a nice cup of tea then? Oh, no, not, not now, Daphne. Hey. It'll be after me usual, thanks, Daphne. Is there no limit to your consumption? Attention, attention, attention. attention. With, With the person, person who owns a red fire engine, engine parked outside, outside the hotel entrance, entrance please report to reception. There is a gentleman from the local fire brigade who wishes to interview you. Thank you. See, what did I tell you? You just can't go around commandeering the public purse. Oh, give up, Robert. How do you expect us to get through the bleeding London traffic? Well, day? it does seem as though you have set a precedent for yourself, Mr. Minestrone. Ah, the moment of truth. So let's wander into the great ballroom to witness this prestigious event. Now, don't you be forgetting me, Guinness, there, Daphne. I've got it here for you, Bernie. Nice and warm as you like it. Now here we are, seated at one of these lovely tables, which have been embellished with crystal glasses and Wedgwood cutlery and crockery. And up onto the stage now comes our Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Bert Constable. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fort Grammy Awards 2009. The three nominations for Best Musical Bands are... Coffee and drink, yeah, the one bat from you. One bat. And up come Coffee and Cream, led by Gilly, looking absolutely gorgeous in a purple evening gown, followed by Hajj Culinary and Dominic Lorenzo, all looking very debonair indeed. And lo and behold, a little dog has run onto the stage, and of course, it's soup, their little doggy mascot. And up onto the stage now comes Rocky Minestrone, followed by the Mars Bar Rappers. Oh, he still seems to be having problems with that snowshoes. He's followed by Lord Bryron, looking as dapper as ever, of course, and Bernie Shaw and Robbie the Bruce. And of course, not forgetting Daphne, she's wheeling that tea trolley as usual. And now, final nominee for tonight's granny is... The Terry is for Don't Feel That Way. And the warm welcome John. is being given to the Terriers, Mamal the Haji, Brian Fuller and Mike Bollock's time. Their brand of music has been hitting the charts for some years now. And it's all 
listen to, of course, to Mike Bollockstein's voice. This you can believe, the walk will make Oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, tonight's winner of the Granny Awards for 2009 goes to... Coffee and Cream for One Bite for Me. One Bite for Me. Well, there you have it. The top Granny Award goes to Coffee and Cream for 2009. Well deserved. They're very excited about all this. Oh, it seems a little bit upsetting to Rocky Minestrone. Uh, oh, yes. I know uh, Mike Bollockstein has made a very rude sign to Rocky Minestrone, who's gone over to him, and now Rocky's just taken off his snowshoe. Oh, dear, my goodness, he's just fitted it over his head. Oh, good heavens, Mr. Bollockstein has just taken a swipe at Mr. Minestrone with his son. And here come the police strolling onto the stage, followed hotly by the fire brigade. Would you like him another cup of tea, there, Well, this is where we make our exit from the 2009 Granny Awards. This is Jim in the Heights Smith saying good night and good luck. This behavior is disgusting.